Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. The EFF's Floyd Shivambo lashes out entirely, putting out a series of insults, dragons and warnings to DA's Helen Zile. In his exact words, Floyd Shivambo had this to say. You are an opportunist and liar, Helen. The ANC slash DA had already signed into the coalition and implemented in KZN and Houting. We knew far much earlier that the ANC is collaborating with enemy forces and our articulations were clear that we will reject the so-called GNU. You are too old to go around telling lies. Go ahead into common ruin, but don't lie. This has left so many people shocked. Former President Jacob Zuma is definitely sitting and looking at all of these things, just smiling, laughing and having a piece of himself. Addressing issues like this thoroughly is crucial, and one can only imagine the narrative that might have developed if EFF Deputy President Floyd Shivambo had not intervened promptly. By now, many are likely familiar with the situation, but for those who are not, here is a brief overview. During an interview, Helen Zile, the DA chairperson of the Federal Council, claimed that her party will not have voted for Toko Didiza, the newly elected Speaker of the National Assembly, if Shivambo had not requested a break because an agreement with the ANC had not yet been finalized. Zile emphasized that Shivambo's request for a break was pivotal in the process. However, this version of events has faced skepticism. Many believe the circumstances played out differently. Shivambu himself addressed the matter on Twitter, declaring that Zile's account was incorrect. According to Shivambu, an agreement with the ANC was established well before the first sitting of the 7th Parliament. In his tweet, Shivambu accused Zile of dishonesty and criticized her for disseminating false information, remarking that she is too old to go around telling lies. This controversy underscores the often contentious nature of political negotiations and the necessity for transparency and honesty in the public dialogue. Zile's remarks and Shivambu's rebuttal highlight the tensions that can arise even among political allies. Supporters of Zile might argue that her intention was to shed light on the strategic maneuvering within the parliamentary proceedings, while her critics view her statement as a deliberate effort to mispresent the event for political advantage. Shivambu's vigorous response can be interpreted as a defense of its integrity and the EFF's role in the parliamentary process. It also prompts questions about the dynamics between the DA and the ANC and the broader implications for South African politics. Understanding the interplay between these parties is essential for grasping the current political landscape where alliances and rivalries are often fluid and intricate. In summary, while the truth of the events may lie somewhere between the conflicting accounts, this incident serves as a reminder of the significance of factual accuracy in political discourse. The heated exchange between Zile and Shivambu reflects broader issues of trust and accountability that are vital for the functioning of a healthy democracy. In the comment section, I want each and every one of you to give me your honest opinions about what you think, how you feel, and the way you perceive everything being revealed in today's video. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Do all to take appropriate care of yourselves. See you all in our subsequent uploads. And above all, do not leave here without sharing these videos to all of your friends, loved ones, family members, and most importantly, all the groups you find yourself in. Thank you, guys.